the hidden park of Candy Island. Today is Monday and unlike other Mondays Polly, George, Billy and James along with their other classmates are excited about going on a field trip on the coming Wednesday. James invited George, Polly and Billy to his house and just when they were about to start playing board games they got distracted by the noise of shattering glass. It came from the kitchen. The window glass was broken with a stone and shattered pieces of glass were on the kitchen counter below the window. A man was trying to get in through that window. They all got scared as it was no normal thief or trespasser, it was a scary-looking clown, same as the infamous Joker. George grabbed a pan, Polly grabbed another, though Billy and James almost froze. It was like they couldn't move. As the man moved towards them George and Polly quickly hit him with the pans. The man got scared that the adults might get alerted and so he went out of the window and ran like a bullet. As George and Polly ran behind the man. They literally had to shake Billy and James to run along with them. All four of them followed him. Through a couple of lanes beyond the neighborhood, he ran into a narrow lane which had trees on both sides. It was like a small forest. As he stopped running, he started looking for something in his hair and finally got a cube out. His hair was a mess. He put the cube on the ground, and started saying. Here or he, come to me. As I bow to the land and ye ye ye. As the kids witnessed the most astonishing magic. The clown got sucked into the cube. They were about to faint, their faces went pale. James wanted all of them to return back home, as it was nothing normal that was happening today. But the others wanted to know more about it and convinced James that once they know how the cube sucked the clown they will return back. Anyways, it was evening, and all the parents knew that they are together having fun. Though no one could imagine the thrill of this adventure they have become a part of. They moved to the cube, held hands and said the same verse together. Here or he, come to me. As I bow to the land and ye ye ye. Behold. They were all in the cube now and it was nothing they had ever seen before. There were a lot of trees, mountains with roller coasters, slides going down the mountains to the river's end. And. And. It was all made up of candies. It was a candy island. They could not believe their eyes. A river of slushy drinks, trees made of candy canes, chocolate bar roller coasters and what not. It was all like a dream. The kids were so happy they could just cry. They saw the clown going on the roller coaster and they quickly followed him. The clown stopped on the tippity top of the mountain and went down the burrow. The kids did the same. As they went down the burrow, it was dark and super slippery. They all screamed like never before. They landed on a green jelly turf and were about to get sucked in the jelly when the clown pulled them out. He was sitting on the candy cane tree just next to the jelly turf. He became very angry for having known that all of them followed him. Although he barged into their house because he knew the kids would follow him. It was as if he wanted them to follow him and come to the land of mysterious valleys. But the kids were brave and blamed him for trespassing their house and breaking the glass. So now, as the kids have trespassed his mysterious land, both the parties were even. The clown showed them around, took them to all the adventure rides, roller coasters and slides. He even let them take a bite of their favorite candies once in a while. It was a dream come true for them, they wanted to eat more candies but couldn't as they were full. They expressed their amazement and when Billy said, this place is amazing, I am so happy to have found it, the clown said, I am not so sure about that. Polly asked, why? The clown then told them that once every night a group of really big, scary looking worms appear and surround the mysterious valley and follow him. The only way out for him to save himself is to go in the normal world and brush himself off with lots of water. All clean and shiny. Then the worms cannot harm him. So, George asked him if that was the reason he came to James' house. 
The clown said, yes, I was looking for water. All of them apologized for hitting him and asked him whether he wants to be friends with them. And also they said that he could come every day taking turns to each one of their houses for getting cleaned up. But the clown said, oh. My dear friends, that means you didn't understand who I am. I am your teeth. Everyone was like, what? The clown said, yes, I wanted to remind you all that eating candies is fun only till you also take good care of your teeth. So never go to bed without brushing your teeth and I will always be your friend. But if you don't, then remember I am watching you. And he gave that infamous joker look. The End Written by the boy who brushes his teeth twice a day. See you next time. Bye.